just get to the point. Ah, Descendant, you're here. Thank you for all your hard work with the Intercept battle. Unfortunately, we need to drag you into another operation before you get a chance to rest. Albion has entered uncharted territory. A Descendant has committed treason. A Descendant. Someone who should have been humanity's beacon of hope. Damn it! How could this have happened? HQ has officially denounced Jeremy as a traitor. A rapid arrest operation is in progress. Enzo received intel from the guide and was first on the scene. Jeremy is heading towards Echo Swamp. As the enemy's attention is keenly focused on this location and because of the swampy terrain, deployment of forces on a large scale will be difficult. To make matters worse, we've lost contact with Esimo. He was carrying out another operation in the area. Esimo's support was vital. Enzo won't be able to command and fight by himself. Our lack of manpower is delaying the operation. If we don't hurry, we'll be delivering the Ironheart to the Vulgus on a silver platter after we've worked so hard to get it. We must prevent that from happening at all costs. Rules of engagement for Jeremy will be sent separately. If possible, I would like to have him brought back alive. I want to hear what he was thinking as his commander, and why he did what he did. Go after Jeremy, and please, find the Ironheart and bring it back. I will tell Enzo to prepare to resume the operation. Understood. Descendant. Wrap up any preparations for reinforcements quickly, and head to the Misty Woods outpost in Echo Swamp. Enzo is awaiting your arrival. Alpha, thank you for the reinforcements. Recommencing the operation to hunt down Jeremy. I've sent number 17 of the Kolong Special Forces to help with tracking Jeremy. All right. We've had some delays, but I'm happy to say we can now restart the pursuit. First things first, as we've lost contact with Esimo, there are no other descendants who have the power to handle the battle. We had to suspend the search and blockade construction. I'm afraid we'll need a rescue operation for Esimo. He was deployed here on a mission to destroy a Vulgus facility, and we've lost contact with his unit. If possible, I think searching for Esimo while we continue with the rest of the mission is a good idea. While our operation was delayed, the Vulgus deployed their forces throughout the swamp. We think they sensed something was up with Jeremy. I got impatient, so I took command and attacked. But because the soldiers couldn't receive their orders in time, we nearly experienced heavy losses. After that, the Volga's forces increased and rapid deployment of soldiers wasn't feasible. It seems Jeremy used this to his advantage and went deeper into the swamp. So starting now, we'll be focusing on reconnaissance to expand the search area. If you go on ahead, the soldiers will follow and establish a barricade. This will allow for much wider RK distribution, which will be an advantage in tracking both Jeremy's RK and the Iron Heart traces. We have to overextend ourselves a little. We have no choice. Based on the intel from the guide, it's clear Jeremy has some kind of plan in mind. Apparently, Jeremy's voice was captured through the Iron Heart pulse. However, briefly that was detected. This is what was recorded. I knew it. I was. The Vulgus here have all been enhanced through superior DNA. The quality of this Kuiper is perfect, though it would have been good to secure both DNA and Kuiper in advance. Oh, yeah. You heard him, right? DNA, Kuiper... I have no idea what he's talking about, but I know this operation needs to resume quickly. The area where the guide picked up Jeremy's voice is a way off. We've got a long road ahead of us. Us. This operation, we're all slowly sinking into this swamp. I'm not happy about it. Be prepared for unexpected combat situations. I leave the mission in your capable hands.
Jeremy said that the Vulgus in this area have been enhanced with high-quality DNA. To analyze the differences between them and regular Vulgus, we'll need to secure genetic samples in comparison. I really hope this has nothing to do with our Colossus corpse. Go and collect Vulgus samples and place them in the supply box. This is the enemy's Kuiper storage. 
Jeremy mentioned Kuiper as well. I'd like to highlight. This operation must succeed. Regarding Jeremy's defection, the plan is to capture him alive and carry out a detailed interrogation. However, after analyzing the characteristics of the Volgus DNA and the Kuiper, I think we need to understand Jeremy's motives first, so that we can be two steps ahead of him. First off, from the Volgus DNA collected here, we identified malignant cells, those which have been exposed to void energy. 
Well, we'd call them malignant cells, but for the Vulgus, they're more of a genetic enhancement. They give them higher bone density and muscle growth. And we've detected high levels of void energy in the Vulgus Kuiper you discovered. To humans, this affected Kuiper is highly contaminated material which cannot be processed and used for any products. But for the Vulgus, it is enhanced Kuiper. Can you see the connection? Both the cells and the Kuiper have been altered as the result of exposure to the void, and both are needed to create enhanced Vulgus. I'm not sure why Jeremy needs them, but I do know where we can find them. The Abandoned Zone. Throughout Ingress's history, it's been identified as the first area to be connected to the Void Dimension. And the worst source of contamination is located in Echo Swamp. That's where we need to go. We can either overtake Jeremy, or at least find traces of him. Huh? Hold on. That's the emergency comm signal. Is anybody there? This is Esimo. We can't move. We're surrounded by enemy forces. Esimo, what's your location? I'm at the abandoned area. I was sent here on a mission to destroy the Vulgus facility. But at this rate, I'll be the one being destroyed. Like hell you will. Sending reinforcements right now. <laughs> 